Hello guys, today we're gonna start with lecture 10 and it's gonna be on Boolean algebra KMAPS simplification. We took how to simplify last lecture using the laws and rules, Boolean algebra rules and laws. We can also use it, uh, do it, use, simplify using KMAPS and we, we explained why we need to simplify. Simplifying, well, will make the circuit let's say more uh, optimal uh, less number of gates that means cheaper less power and also less less number of gates means uh, faster speed okay but before we go to lecture 10 guys here is what I'm gonna I don't know uh, this is up to you if you wanna watch it but this is what I'm planning um, like for the next from now to the whole next year uh, what I'm gonna do on this channel we're gonna explain we're in the process of doing assembly now we're gonna take Masson Microsoft assembly and uh, this is for window we're gonna take Nassim which is uh, I consider it a higher level a little bit uh, lower level than Masson and we're gonna take Mars simulator using uh, which uses a uh, MIPS architecture and we're doing the x86 architecture the Intel and assembly language takes both AT&T and uh, Intel uh, syntax let's say uh, we're gonna do the C++ uh, C programming language we're gonna do the C++ programming language advanced C++ programming language I'm trying to finish the advance with those before the fall semester before you start the fall semester then we're gonna do the data structure we're gonna do some Unix Linux basics uh, we're gonna take networking and I'm not sure uh, should I give uh, the CCNA have you ever heard of those are certifications they're not that hard there if, if, uh, if you go over them it's easy to to pass this certification it's a certificate for networking and it's good it's from Cisco and it's good to have it but there's there's a, if you want if I, if I want to go CC and A it's gonna be a different way than this networking which we're required in your uh, material let's say but till then we we'll, uh, I'll be decided which one we're gonna take we're gonna take socket programming which is also in networking but not that much school takes it like it's uh, TCP UDP programming all those the protocols we're gonna take shared memory programming also maybe include with this the system programming and remember system programming is different than application program system programming is a lower level and they get paid really really good we're gonna explain Wireshark which is a tool for networking and security and this has a certification also you can take it if you want to explain that we're gonna go over security there's there's four security certifications I can go over with you in two the other two uh, they're not that hard but I haven't like uh, gone over them in a uh, teaching wise but if I go over them from now to then I might give the other two but we can give you two where you can get certified with them and honestly this is the most important if you get the fourth fourth uh, four certifications you're good you really you get a, a job easily paid really good we're gonna do some app and game development from the programming languages we learned we're gonna have some like um, fun stuff mostly in security like how to hack a Facebook account how to uh, mostly the hacking I'm not gonna teach you but I don't want you to use it on 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 someone but I'll teach you things yet that you can defend yourself from this is what I'll concentrate mainly on we might be taking also maybe Java Python programming SQL Oracle Verilog which VHDL which are uh, high level uh, high definition uh, hardware definition languages we might take some scripting languages coffee beans JavaScript pencil code Lisp, Pascal those are not scripting but those are functional programming languages 
a little different than the, the syntax of C, but those remember we might we might take some batch scripting scripting unit using Linux Unix, but I think this is this is really good enough. Till then we decide if we go over this. So this is just to briefly. If you know anybody interested, please let them know. Share the channel, especially my students, especially my student. My focus is my students. And please, guys, uh, if you like what you see, at least like it. It might motivate me more and more. Please do that on the videos. Uh, so, and I'll have a separate video explaining everything about the channel. So now let's start with the lecture. <coughs> And let's see. We're going to take K maps. What's K maps? We do simplify Boolean algebra. We used previously the rules, Boolean algebra rules. So, what's a K map? A K map is a mat matrix consisting of rows and columns that represent the output values of a Boolean function. This is a matrix. I want to represent the output values of a boolean function. Any boolean? I want to represent it in those. What's the output of a boolean function? Has only two values, 0 and 1, boolean, binary, 0 and 1. So I'm going to fill this with 0 and 1 depending on the output and we'll see how that works. The output values placed in each cell are derived from the min terms of a boolean function. So now we need to know those values, 0 and 1, depend on the <coughs> min term. So we need to know what's a min term. A min term is a product term that contains all of the function. Product meaning uh, the and contains all of the function variables exactly once, either complemented or not. Meaning, let's say I have A, B, C. This is a min term. A b and c a b by itself it's not a min term why contains all of the function variables it doesn't contain c okay is this a min term yes contains all variables exactly once either complemented or not product term product and this is a product term that contains all of the function variables if I said I had three function variables a, b, and c, if I said I had four a, b, c, d, this is not a min term. I need the d, either complemented or not. So let's take an example. For example, the min terms for a function having the inputs x and y, those are all the possible min terms. x and y by themselves are not min terms. We need to have all of them, all of the variables, which are x and y complemented or not in a product in an and consider the boolean function here's the boolean function this its min terms are those are its min terms 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 you say where's well, okay you say here's this plus this so those are going to be 1 1 if they're in the equation. If not, it's going to be 0, 0. That's how this goes. How I, do, how I drew this table. I say, why is it only 2 and I drew 4? It's meaning those have a 1 value and those have a 0 value. And you're going to uh, understand it more. Let's see. Uh, for uh, uh, four variable max in K maps, we can't have five variables. I can't have A, B, C, D, E, for example. No, if, if I have five variables, we have to go by what? Boolean algebra rules. Boolean algebra rules. If four or less, we can do it in uh, K maps. I think K maps is much easier. And you all, we need the truth table, not the equation must be in sum of product form sum of product we took how to do it last time 
is some of product or POS product of some some of product meaning what I'm having for example this is sum of product y this is x and y x not y product of sum what's this x plus y product of sum but we want sum of product So hopefully you get <coughs> what sum of product. We can take x a b. This is a sum of product. Sum of products. Products of sum. Or of ands. Or of ands. Ands of ors. This is what this means. So example, let's look at this. We have this Boolean function. And we can draw, I can draw the Boolean table from uh, the truth table for it real quick. Let's see, table matrix we need. This is three variables, A, B, C. So what? Uh, two to the power three. I'm gonna have what? Uh, eight inputs. And here's the truth table. This is how the truth table gonna be. Let's say I have 0, 0, 0, A, B, C, and I have 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, and I'm not going to do all of them because I have the truth table written 0, 1, 1. This is 0, 1, 2, and 3. Let's see, this is A naught, B naught, C naught, A naught, B, C naught. We don't have it, so this is 0. We have here A naught, B naught, and C. We don't have it. Zero. Here I have A naught, B, and C naught. I don't have that one also. And here I have A naught, B naught, A naught, B, C. A naught, B, C. This is going to be one why it's this one if I have a match this is what A not B C 1 is same 0 is not this is what we're gonna be A not and this is B and this is C not do I have that one up there no so what else do I have? So what about why do I have all those? What's <coughs> one one one? It's A, B, and C. It's gonna be this one. So I'll put here one for A B C. What's this? A, this is one, zero. 1 which is what 5 so it's gonna be the uh, after 4 do I have 4 this is 4 so the one after this is gonna be 1 the one after is gonna be 1 this is how you can get a truth table from this equation because why this is in sum of product I have all all of those are min terms this is sum of products all of those are min terms what did we say a min term is all the variables complemented or not this has all the variables this has all the variables I have five min terms so I'm gonna have ha, ha, we're gonna have to have five ones five ones in my truth table which has eight rows so three will be zero five will be one let's check this here's how, how I draw the K, K map matrix I have uh, eight rows so I'm gonna have what this is eight cells. I can choose AB here and C. I can choose AC and B. I can choose BC and A, whatever you want. And I brought you two of them. And here we start with zero, zero. A naught, B naught. Then I'll have zero, one, which is what? 
A not B then I'll start with uh, here I'll have one one A B why didn't I take the B not A who knows we have to have one element one variable changing each time we go right so in this what changed B I go one more I change what a so I'll have a B I can't change both B and a no way if I had it if I had this a B not I'm changing a which was complemented here and I'm changing B which was not complemented so I change two variables we can do that going from one to another I have to change only one so I'll change what well. the a I'll have a B here which meaning one one so this is zero one this is zero 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 one 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 and here I'll have one zero which is a B not and we can see it here here I'll have what C C not or C not C whichever one you want zero and one this is what zero 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 one 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 and here I have uh, one zero remember why didn't I put a B not here I can't change what uh, both of those I have to change one of them which one did we change the a each time we're going here what did we do we changed B gave us this here we changed a, a gave us this here we changed B gave us this same thing applies here we tried the ACB they're gonna give us the same thing now how do I fill in the ones I'm gonna have to have five ones I have five min temp so let's see what's this is this a one or not what's this a not b not c not do I have that one no but a b c you can go <coughs> over them each but this is how I do it I check where's where's the a where's the a I have a in this and in this so those represent a what about the b not b not is this and this but this one doesn't have what the a it's a not so I'll take a b not it's gonna be one of those two now I'll do the C with it so this is a b not this is C not and this is a b not C so this is the one I want this is the one I want this one not this one not this one now we can see it here a b not C I'm gonna take the a those two this is this represent the a a b not this and this but I have the a this is the b not sorry this is the b not a b not as well is this now the C is this and this was the B not and this was the A I'll take the common in between all of them the intersection between all of them so if we look at it now this is A B not and C so this is one same thing we'll do here same thing if you look at did you look at it here let's go back or less where's the A here where's the B not it's gonna be all this I'm doing the below the one under the table this table the one under what's C now huh? C is gonna be this and this where's the C I have and now I'm taking what A which are those two A here's A this and this and I'm taking the B not so they're gonna be those two 
and now I'm taking with them C which is gonna be this one see the differences guys this is really important now what about a b c where's the a b or where's the a here's the a those two where's the a here it's gonna be those two or those four let's say those four and let's make here those four are a and those four are a I'm doing the a b c now now what about the B? Where's the B? B here is what? Well. This and this. Here's the B. Those two. But I'm not gonna need this because it's A naught. And now I'm not gonna need the B naught. So I'm left with those two. Those two. Now here I have this A and I want the B B is this, so I'll take those two. Now I go to the B, it's this one. Now C, if I look at the one below, C is where? C is here, see not? So I'm gonna have a one on this one here. This one is gonna be what? My one, this one is gonna be my one. Here I have A, B, here's both of those are A, B. This is A, B, C not, and this is A, B, C. So I'll take this one as a one. And now I'll go A, B, C not, A, B, C not is gonna be this one. A, B, C not, A, B not, with A, A, B not, and C naught is going to be this one and A naught B here's A naught B and C is going to be this one and the rest of those zero if I do on the lower A B C naught A B with A A B C naught is going to be this one A B naught C naught A B naught, those two, C naught, this one, A naught, this one, B, this one, and C, A, naught, B, C, it's going to be this one. They gave us the same, usually they're not, you might not have them the same. A, B naught, C. A naught is going to be all those four. All those four, A naught. B is going to be just this is A naught B, only those two. In this case, only those two. And now B, C. B, C, this one, and this one. So I now I have all my term, min terms, the others are going to be zeros. This is sum of products, remember, min terms. So now let's see what we can do here. How can I minimize or how can I simplify? We can take what? Group into one, two, or four, or eight. And usually eight when I have a bigger, uh, like I'm using four variables, not three. But let's see how this goes. How can I group here? We can't group any, like I can't say I want to group those four. No, and I can't say I want to group those four. We have to group uh, for that, this, like this one. I can group those representing what? The A. And I can group twos, repre those representing what? What do you think do they represent? Do they represent A? No. This is A naught and this is A. Do they represent B? Yes. And they represent C also. So all of this is going to be what? Well. I have this is A. What's common between all those four? It's A. B is not common because here I have B. B naught. C is not common because I have here C naught and C. So all those four represent A. 
and those two represent what? CEB so if if you were to simplify though this using the rules you're gonna get this the optimal solution this is gonna give us the same I group into fours and I group and always group the max you can <coughs> like I can't say I want to group those two and those two and those two <coughs> no it won't give you the optimal uh, simplification so what's this this is a and what's this B and C C is common and B is common between those two this is what's common between them is a so it's gonna give me a plus uh, a plus CB or a plus here's the grouping this represents a and this represents BC and I add them product uh, of some product uh, sum of product SOP sorry SOP sum of products this is the same thing if I had it the other way CBA is gonna give me this I'm gonna group one those four together I can do that and this representing a so I'm right and I can do those two together I can't do this and this this and this no I have to be next to each other or I can take corners plus well what's this C B this is how we simplify <laughs> now find the sum of products and simplification of this one this one the sum of products what am I gonna find this one what does it equal a naught C naught B naught this one this one this one what does it equal this is the sum of products A C naught B naught and what does this equal plus A naught because it said sum of products C B not Y A this one and C B not this one. What's this one? This is gonna be what? A U It's gonna be A plus A C B not. If I gave you the truth table, the truth table is gonna be what? Four ones, it's gonna have four ones depending on what they are you can give me this and you can give me the sum of products it's easy same way so you need to know how to uh, get it from a truth table and we're gonna group this meaning I'm gonna group what all those four I'm not gonna group two two I can group the edges together I can group this edge with this edge why this representing what what do you think B naught where is the B naught is it representing C naught no this is C naught and C and this is A naught and A but both of them both of groups have what or four the four ones have in common B naught so this represents B naught meaning I can simplify this equation to B naught to B naught and this is the sum of products this is the sum of products this. what if I had all ones what's the simplification do you think of this we said we can group all in two so if I pick those is there anything common between them nope so what can I do it's gonna equal what is it zero or one think of it how can you know zero or one think if I group those four together what do they represent those represent C yeah this represents C what does those four represent C naught why doesn't it represent B naught because B naught is not common B is not common A naught and A are not common between all four 
the common between all four of those is what? the sina so this is c and this is sina so I can have c or sina as so what does it equal? one no zero this is how you know what about this? I don't have any ones to group so it equals zero no ones no ones now four variables I have a b c d a b c d so I have I need two to the power of four let's say rows or cells and this I didn't give a truth here I'm just telling you how we can pick I can pick this 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 group what will those represent who knows are they gonna represent just one value no what's common between them is B not B not is common between all four is C or C not common no is A not or A common no so what's common is B not what else is common is D not common is D common no so those four represent B naught plus what? What do I have? How can I group? I can take those two, yeah? What do those represent? What's common? Is B, B not common? No. C naught is common. Here, this and this has C naught. And what? A D naught is common also. A D not as common. This and C not. Now what about this? Can I group it with any? No, it doesn't go with any one of those. It can't go with any one of them. So what does this equal? Plus C B or I can say A not which is this. Let's put the not A D C B this is gonna be uh, my simplification forever whatever boolean equation this was for but I only gave you the K map just to show you this is B this is what AD not C not and this is A not D C B look at this this is we add all those here's the simplification here's the simplification now what about this we can group those with those what's common between them is a not common no I have here a not and D is D not and D common no is C not C common now B is common so this equals B this equals B I what if I told you I had all those ones and all those ones I have eight ones those are gonna represent what what's common between them B not B not and we can see What's ever common between B not, which equals okay. Yep, this is B not. So what if I had those eight? This and this no. What if I had? Oh okay, yeah, it's gonna be always one. So this is B, the one we took. B. This B, this is what? B not. What's this by itself? A D not, C not, B. And those two are what? C not, B. What's common between them? Because A not, D are, or A D not are not common. Those two, see how those two different than those two? 
those have only two variables but those well they came a came also in common I have C not B and A is also common between those two those we have to divide them this and this or I can do those and uh, whichever way we want we're going to do that and then those so here we finish those boolean using K maps please try them they're fun they're nice to uh, play around with take a truth table uh, lecture 11 is going to be a whole example on boolean algebra not just K maps it's going to be some of product K maps simplification using both ways uh, what well, truth tables diagram I think also so we'll go over it I just wanted to go over one more thing I told you I'm gonna add the link for the Massim programming so you can download it anybody using Windows so you can go and download it easily if you have Visual Studio you're gonna download the let me show you now if you have Visual Studio we're gonna try uh, Massim Irvine okay Irvine I think this is the one and here getting started with Massim and Visual Studio try to download it and libraries and it try to download it on with uh, Visual Studio get it running it might be confusing but uh, start with it and let me know if you have any errors if you have any errors post them on one of the comments and I see the error maybe I can solve it if you're not if you don't want to use visual and you want to use the command line you can go on and install the mass in 32 SDK it's a little bit different but we're not using visual we're using the command line and I'm going to give you both both ways how to do it in both ways this is for the massim and I include the links um, in this slash for this one and the uh, airborne one thank you guys and see you